Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolution.com Today I am going to show you balance sheet dashboard part 2nd and part 2nd I am going to talk about current asset cash analytics and all this analysis we would be doing in Tableau Watch complete video to understand how the whole analysis taken place So as always we start with understanding our source data I extracted this balance sheet data from my ERP system this is in hierarchy so there are six level of granularity account level one to account level six and then we have other detail like account number account type description and four quarters of data so in our analysis we would be focusing only on cash therefore I filter it on cash this analysis will help my CFO to take some actionable decisions how cash are being distributed how cash is being maintained under assets and the various buckets of cash so let's get started as always we start with extracting this or bringing this data into Tableau and I already have done data massaging so I'll be using only balance sheet data all data transformation related activities are done in the past please watch my previous video for Tableau data massaging and transformation so let's get started the first part of our presentation first part of data analysis would be pie chart and I would be giving a very summary view of my cash so if you look at your account account uh, dimension it is basically flat flattened so you should create a hierarchy on top of this so it's simple you create all the members and drag and drop within account level one and name it as account hierarchy account hierarchy is done you also observe quarter one fact to quarter two three fact these are actually facts but it considered to be them as dimension so I drag and drop and put under measures so they are not treated as a measures account number is actually a measure but it is considered to be as a dimension so you can convert measures to dimension right now let's get started so we would be focusing on cash therefore I limit or apply filter on cash account level 5 and for the sake of simplicity I'll be using only quarter one data so this is my quarter one measures and I like to classify this cash into two category cash is being maintained internally and cash is being maintained and outside by the broker this is called escrow cash so let's create a group of it first cash group I create as cash internal I right click and create alias called cash maintain as internal and cash as external you can continue to call this escrow cash I'll be using a pie chart to present this data and let's put a entire view without label doesn't appear so meaningful so drag and drop and put a label over here I wanted this label to be used as a percentage because numbers are not making much meaningful so change this label uh, to percentage of total this makes sense now so you can quickly figure out 89.07 percent are being maintained in current asset cash as internal and 10.93 maintain as external so I also put a label for which is used internal and external well this doesn't look good so let's use an asset account level group this makes sense the first part of analysis done you can change the title of this sheet I call this cash pie view cash group pie view let's create a second part of it so second part of analysis I'll be creating a line chart which give a more detailed view always remember when you create a dashboard it should start with summarized view and as we nail down it should give you a detailed view so I create a, another I create a duplicate of it duplicate sheet and this sheet would be giving a line chart of it so I just remove the group I don't need a group rather I need a account level 6 or probably I should create a completely from beginning because there are some majors which are not meaningful invalid in this context so create a new sheet 
and drag and drop your account level 6 and limit it to cash only apply filter on cash although you can define this cash filter as parameter now let's display this quarter one sales quarter one measures and i want it to present as a line chart so i use in a column and change the mark type as line i wanted to sort them out so that i know which place the cash is being used heavily so i am going to sort it out my major sort by filled quarter one sum i can clearly see the highest sum the highest cash is being used in a cash payroll layoff well the label is not visible so i use the option for entire fit as i can see the highest cash is being maintained for cash flow layoff right because these are currency amount therefore change your format type to currency and i don't want to display this in terms of decimal so i remove decimal this is complete currency i'm changing it changing this sort order from ascending to descending so it will quickly drop your cfo attention the highest cash is being used in cash payroll uh, layoff this doesn't look so meaningful i'm going to make little more changes so that i could highlight these points so what else you can do it you can drag and drop place your quarter over once again and turn it to a dual access chart and when turn it to dual access chart uh, the second one i would like to use as circle and the size is a little bigger i use a smaller one and i don't need a label in addition to this i like to highlight the circle with different color so you know it should quickly draw people attention the beauty of dashboard the moment you see it should give you quick information about your business data i'm going to change this label as this is cash distribution across uh, so this is a line chart well so i got two meaningful analysis of our cash data cash summary view internal being managed and external cash and line chart i now now i like to give more detailed view of the cash therefore i am going to use a um, a bar chart and i like to check my cash being used as a payroll and in the context of payroll other cash are being used it means how much cash is being used for payroll keeping this payroll as a benchmark i like to compare other cash so i create another sheet or probably you can duplicate this sheet as well so duplicate this sheet and change it to a bar chart i like to calculate my cash with respect to payroll therefore i am going to use a new calculation over here and this calculation being used percentage of table calculation this calculation will be using percentage difference of first value percent different from first one and first one is the highest value which is called cash is being maintained for layoff right so this doesn't look so nice let's do some formatting convert into dual access chart and the first one is called bar i change the mark type as bar and second one is also i tag it mark type as bar now what how do you interpret this let me show you first one i select quarter one fact this is dollar amount and second one i select percent difference from so this is a percentage difference so change the format as percentage and make it zero decimal now the interpretation of this is the highest cash is being maintained for payroll which is 8468 in the context of this the cash general is 38% less than payroll cash and cash mmf is 38% less than so this is a you know it should display as a percentage with decimal value if you want you can display decimal value as well so in the context of payroll cash what other cash are being distributed i can see this right so this is a dual view you are providing to the user in one chart i do little formatting and now i display as two decimal I can get an exact view minus 38.13 percent are being maintained as a cash general 
or in other way around 85 percent less is cash filled compared to my cash uh, payroll layoff well i got a three detailed view now i just rename it to cash distribution with respect to to uh, cash being maintained for pay layoff payroll layoff the final one more view i like to give it as a more detailed view in terms of waterfall chart so i create a waterfall chart to create a waterfall chart i use account level 6 and again i limit on cash probably i did not type it correctly cash and i use fact 1 this is my quarter 1 fact and to display this as a bar a waterfall chart first i convert to bar chart so it's inverse the waterfall chart is just inverse of your bar chart but it give you cumulative value and distribution of cash across different segment so i convert this total to a table calculation as running total and change this mark type as Gantt mark and I like to draw my bar inverted on in reverse so that I need to create a quarter one fact quarter one fact as negative I'm going to create one more computed field on top of this it is just going to be inverted so I just prefix minus you can call this quarter one minus And I use this minus as a size. So you see the in inverse order in down uh, fall, there's a bar charts are being created. So I also like to see the cumulative value for all the cash. Therefore, you can add a percentage of row. So this total cash being used and distribution cash. Add a label so it make it meaningful. So this is your total cash display in terms of dollar amount so change the format as dollar amount i use custom currency with no decimal value well it makes sense change the color if you like to see it so i like to change color as quarter one so i can see the more cash the higher the value you can change the color format as well if you do not like the, this standard one so I use red, green, fine. So I see the total cumulative cash and how cash is being distributed among different buckets. Still I can see this, the payroll cash has the highest value. You can, you should sort this off, sort it off in descending order by account number one or you can select the major over here. So I sort it off uh, based on quarter one fact so I can still see though over here the highest cash is being maintained for payroll cash and this is the total cash fine so now I got four different view just let's rename this called waterfall view waterfall chart view for cash distribution now we bring everything together into a dashboard so start with summary view and create a detail view summary view is a pie chart and your line chart and then i'm going to display a detailed view so now it's a final view of your cash analysis where you can see how cash is being distributed internally and externally in terms of pie chart percent distribution line chart highest value has cash for play role and then you have a cumulative view of how cash is being distributed and the percentage of cash with respect to your payroll cash. It means 38% is less of my cash general in terms of payroll cash. And this is your waterfall view. So that's it for today. Uh, should you have any question, please write to us to BSP solution 
our business partner tricon.com thank you